Guys, it is officially GoFest season, apparently. As Niantic has released some info on GoFest coming this summer, which is really great. They've given us a good advance to get ready for these. So let's talk about it. Okay, so if you don't know how GoFest normally works in the summer, there are three in-person events that happen, and then it ends with the global event. And this year, it's going to be the exact same. Specifically, May 30th to June 2nd is gonna be the Sendai Japan GoFest. Then June 14th to June 16th, Madrid is going to have a GoFest, an in-person one. Then July 5th to July 7th, New York City is gonna have a GoFest, which is very interesting. New York City is getting a back-to-back GoFest. Really, I did not expect this. I didn't think this was gonna happen, but it did. And then finally, July 13th to 14th will be the global GoFest. So yes, GoFests are only going over two months. No GoFests in August this year. Now, first, let's talk about the global GoFest, because that's the one everyone here is probably gonna be playing. The global GoFest is going to be free, but there's going to be a ticketed add-on you can buy for $15. Let's start by going through what is going to be free. First of all, Jang Mo is going to be the new shiny release we know about right now. Also, there's three new shinies debuting during the in-person GoFest. They will be available at the global GoFest that includes shiny Emolga, shiny Crab Brawler, and shiny Ducklet. Now, it's going to be split up into two days, Saturday and Sunday. And as always, Saturday is going to be having rotating habitats. First of all, the Dawn Meadow habitat will be spawning Pidgey, Pikachu wearing a Sun Crown, Hoot Hoot, Hoppip, Giraffe Rig, Wingle, Snivy, Cottony, Ducklet, Ferroseed, Axew, Galarian, Stunfist, Heatmore, Inke, and more. The Shining Day habitat will be spawning Charmander, Dratini, Sunkern, Dunsparce, Yisui and Sneasel, Solrock, Badoo, Helioptal, Tyrant, Dedenne, Young Goose, Fomantis, Jangmo, and more. The Creeping Dusk habitat will have Pikachu wearing a Moon Crown, Eevee, Spinarak, Volbeat, Illumis, Gibble, Venipede, Amolga, Litwick, Golit, Durant, Esper, Phantom, Grubbin, and more. And the Darkness Knight will have Alolan Rattata, Gligar, Sneasel, Teddy Ursa, Mudkip, Carvana, Lunatone, Dino, Binacle, Amora, Carbink, Crab Brawler, Morlo, and more. Remember, all these Pokemon can be shiny. And again, there's going to be more spawns than just this. On Sunday, the wild spawns are going to be the same, but there's going to be no rotating habitats. They're just going to all be mixed in at the same time. Finally, if you do play the free version of Global Go Fest, you will have one hour lure modules. You will also have the bonus of field research tasks, exclusive field research tasks, and snapshots during the event for some exclusive Pokemon. And then probably some other stuff. Again, this is just very bare bones stuff, but this is what we know right now. Now, if you do buy the $15 ticket to get some add-ons, this is what you're going to get. First of all, a special research story that will get you an encounter with the mythical Pokemon Marshadow. Yes, Marshadow is going to be new mythical Pokemon during GoFest, as we saw in the trailer. Pretty cool Pokemon. It is a ghost and fighting type Pokemon, I believe. It could actually end up being pretty good in Pokemon Go. It's kind of similar to Annihilate, so with the right moves, I could see it being pretty good. But again, you're going to have to pay for it. But again, if you don't pay for it, you'll probably get it for free later down the line. Also, be Global Arena Challenges Returning, which are challenges that you have to complete everywhere in the world globally, like, I don't know, catch a million Pokemon globally, and you unlock bonuses for the rest of the hour. But only ticket holders will be able to participate in those. We'll also see exclusive instant spawns during each of the habitats with them having unknown A, D, G, H, I, N, T, and Y. A lot of different incense spawns, as well as Maractus spawning off of incense. The Shining Day habitat, the unknowns are gonna be the same, but we'll have Corsola, yes, Corsola, gonna be spawning off of incense during just Go Fest, which is really great. The Creeping Dust habitat will have, again, all the same unknowns and Rockruff, and then Darkness Knight, all the same unknowns and Vullaby spawning off of incense, which is actually great. You can actually get a uh, PVPIV Vullaby. Finally, bonuses for ticket holders. You will have Shiny Boost, again, only if you do buy the ticket. Not sure what it's going to be, but it'll probably be a decent amount of Shiny Boost. Six special trades every single day. You'll have access to exclusive collection challenges. You'll get nine free raid passes each day from spinning gyms and exclusive seven kilometer eggs hatching some exclusive Pokemon. Again, that ticket is $15. You don't need to buy it to play the event, but you do get a lot more out of the event. Okay, now that is the Global Go Fest. Again, July 13th and 14th. But in June and July, we're going to have three in-person Go Fest that will release all of these stuff early. Now, I'm not gonna go too in depth because most of you are probably not gonna be going to all of these, but what I will give you guys is the dates, the prices, and things to expect. First of all, Sendai Japan's GoFest is gonna be May 30th to June 2nd. The price is going to be, the early bird price is 3,100 yen, along with the usual raid lover and egg enthusiast add-on. With this ticket, you will get access to a variety of wild spawns, which I will show you guys on screen right now, in the different habitats, of course. And the new shiny for this event is going to be shiny Emolga, which uh, Golf Professor will be very happy about that one. Of course, you will get an encounter with Marshadow early, and you'll get access to the bonuses of quarter egg hatch distance, two hour lure modules, special seven kilometer eggs, six special trades during the day, reduced status for trades, nine free raid passes from spinning gyms, two times catch candy, 1.5 times hatch candy, and 1.5 times hatch stardust. And you will take snapshots to get encounters with the heat form of Rotom, the microwave form. 
So that's fun. Madrid Go Fest is gonna be June 14th to June 16th and is gonna cost 27 euros along with the usual raid lover and egg enthusiast add-on. Again, you'll have some exclusive wild spawns which you can check out on screen. The wild spawns are actually gonna be different from in-person event to in-person event, which is really, really cool. And the new shiny for the Madrid event is going to be shiny crab brawler, which is gonna be really nice. Of course, you will get an encounter with Mars Shadow early and you'll get access to the bonuses of quarter egg hatch distance, two hour lure modules, special seven kilometer eggs, six special trades during the day, reduced stardust for trades, nine free raid passes from spinning gyms, two times catch candy, 1.5 times hatch candy and 1.5 times hatch stardust. And yeah, in Madrid as well, you will be able to take snapshots to get encounters with the microwave form of Rotom. Finally, the New York City Go Fest is going to be July 5th to July 7th. Price for that ticket is going to be $25 early bird, $30 uh, normally, along with the usual raid lover and egg enthusiast add-on. Again, you'll have some exclusive wild spawns which you can check out on screen. The new shiny for that event is going to be shiny ducklet. Of course, you will get an encounter with Mars Shadow early and you'll get access to the bonuses of quarter egg hatch distance, two hour lure modules, special seven kilometer eggs, six special trades during the day, reduced stardust for trades, nine free raid passes from spinning gyms, two times catch candy, 1.5 times hatch candy and 1.5 times hatch stardust. And the microwave form of Rotom is going to be available as well. And that is it guys. That is the general gist of what we know about uh, GoFest. A lot more information is be coming out as the event gets closer. And of course, I'll be making videos once everything is out about everything you need to know about the event, how to get ready for the event, all that stuff. So don't worry, I'll have you guys covered. But for now, mark those dates. See if you're going to be going to any in-person ones. If not, try to get the time off for the global one. And yeah, I guess that's it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.